Unlike other types of art, the violins of Stradivarius and Guarnerius often get used by professional musicians every day. Which means that since leaving the shops of the masters, in order to tune the strings, the scrolls have been handled over half a million times while cleaning cloths wiped the rosin off their bellies and ribs at the end of a hundred thousand days. Is it any wonder, then, that one of their most elegant features of beauty has been all but lost over the centuries? Stradivarius and Guinarius blackened the corners of their ribs and the chamfers of the scroll and button to not only highlight the color and the clarity of the famous Cremonies varnish, but also to give another dimension to the form of their scrolls. Think of it like adding the final elegant touch to an already beautiful face. Yet, since this one element of beauty is only skin deep, most of it gets worn away in the flicker of an eye. But the artistic twist is that the masters designed it that way, and more often than not, started the process on their own so their instruments would have more charm from the very beginning. The secret of master violin making isn't how to achieve perfect jet black lines, but how to create the correct colors, textures, and subtle nuances as it wears away. Like so many secrets of the masters, the answer is simple once you've seen how it's done. While the main ingredient is black India ink, brown dye ink is what gives this artistic highlight that special warm flavor as it wears away. The inks mix together fairly well yet it's best to alternate adding them back and forth while making sure that the pad doesn't get too wet. Part of the secret is to not allow the ink to sink too far into the wood and that one drop of ink in the wrong place can spoil your entire day. I make my ink daubers from small pieces of drafting erasers skewed on the end of brass wires. The goal is not perfection. It's more of a search for the perfect flavor that will match the rest of the instrument and the customer that will own it for the rest of their life. Any touch-up that's needed is done with scrapers, as long as the ink wasn't too thin when it was applied. The excess comes off like a dream, though this dream does involve removing wood, so never get too carried away with the ink daubers.
And with these finishing touches, a violin becomes worthy of the famous Cremonese 